good afternoon jury members and organizers and presenters myself dr relit and i am presenting a poster on the topic the national Medi uh, the national medical commission act a reform in medical education prepared under the guidance of dr ask datarwa senior professor and head department of forensic medicine pjms rohit first of all the introduction to nmc the national medical council act 2019 has been notified <coughs> by the gazette notification on 8th august 2019 by the central government the act repeals the indian medicine indian medical council act 1956 and provides for a medical education system which ensures availability of adequate and high high quality medical professionals adoption of the best medical research by medical <coughs> professional and to contribute to research facilitate maintenance of medical register periodic periodic assessment of medical institutions and a effective grievance redressal mechanism now the definition and composition yeah. the national medical commission is an indian regulatory body consisting of a chairperson 10 of n 10 ex officio members and 22 part time members appointed by the central government the 10 ex officio members will be the president of the autonomous body <coughs> namely the ugmeb pgmeb marb emrb uh, dghs new delhi dg <coughs> director general icmr director of any of the aims two persons from among the directors of pgi mer chandigarh jipmer pondicherry tata memorial hospital mumbai nei gr ihms shillong and aihph kolkata and one person to be represent the ministry of the central government dealing with health and family welfare and not below the rank of additional secretary to the government of india the part time members three from amongst the three from non medical background 10 members from amongst the non nominees of the state and union territories in the medical advisory council for a term of 2 years and 9 members from amongst the nominees of the state and union territories in the medical advisory council now the medical advisory council the medical advisory council shall be constituted by the central government to advise the nmc where the chairperson of the nmc is the ex officio chairman of the council in fact every member of the commission will be the ex officio member of the council there will be one member representing each state or ut which is the vice chancellor of a health university health university in the state or ut nominated by the state government or ministry of home affairs in the in case of ut chairman <coughs> ugc director any <coughs> nak and four members to be nominated by the central government from the directors in the iit iim and iis national eligibility come entrance test and examination there shall be one uniform test for admission into the ug course in all medical institutions through a common counseling in all medical institutions where, which are governed by this act for the designated <coughs> state and all india quotas a common final year ug medical examination to be known as national next <coughs> national exit test shall be held for granting license to the uh, to practice as medical practitioners and also based, uh, also the basis for the admission to the pg courses the uh, autonomous boards namely the ug mer and uh, undergraduate medical education board pg mer post graduate medical education board marb medical assessment and rating board uh, and emrb ethics and medical <coughs> ethics and medical registration board will be constituted and each of which will be governed by the president of that board and its two whole time members the member will be an out the member will be of an outstanding ability and proven administrative capability and the integrity possessing a pg degree in and integrity possessing a degree in any disciple of medical science from any university having experience of not less than 15 mid years out of which at least 7 years shall be as leader in the area of medical education public health community medicine or health research the second member in marb and emrb will be from non medical background the ugme b and pgmeb will be responsible for determining the standards of medical medical education amongst the ugs and pg curriculum they will also determine the minimum requirement and standard of conducting these courses and their their examination the guidelines for setting up medical institution impairing imparting these courses facilitate in the development and training of such faculties and grant recognition to the medical qualification at their respective levels marb will be determine the uh, procedure for assessing and rating the medical institution procedure for their compliance with these standards laid by the ugmeb and pgmeb 
in addition permission for the establishing a new medical institution and regular inspection by themselves or through an agency of such institutes will be responsibility of the marb the institutes that fail to take responsibility that fail to take corrective actions prescribed by the marb will be imposed with monetary penalties and may even be de recognized in case of repeated non compliance emrb will be responsible for the medical register for the EMRB will be responsible for the medical register for all medical practitioners and their display on the online portal and include all RMPs registered in the state as well as national medical registers. Redressal of the grievance will be also be rendered under the EMRB uh, for ethical misconduct. Now, the recognition of medical qualification. The medical qualification granted, granted by any university or medical institution in India will be listed and maintained under UGMEB and PGMEB. If any university or medical institution do not conform to the <coughs> specified standards, a uh, monetary penalty shall be imposed to, before any action for to your motor withdrawal of recognition. The, com uh, the uh, concept, uh, community health provider, the commission may grant limited license to the practice medicine, to practice medicine at middle level as community health provider to such person connected with the modern scientific medical professional who qualifies such criteria may be specified by the regulation. The community health providers may prescribe specified medicine independently only in the primary and preventive care. The conclusion, the present act is definitely a progressive act enacted to provide a newer, more active and refined control over the medical education system, medical education and medical professionals affect everybody directly or indirectly. The Act provides a comprehensive framework for the development of the same in India. The compliance for opening up of a medical college is now being made clearer and the provisions for appeal gives an equal representation to the applicant for being heard. There are many students who complete their medical education outside India. The position of their, their qualification has also been clarified now. The provisions of limited license to community service providers will now help to create faster medical attention and is a step towards the betterment of the society. Thank you.